October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a time to learn, raise money for research, and reflect on those we have lost. For Dana Manciagli, a self-proclaimed breast cancer conqueror, this month is also a reminder to live big and give back. Perspective is often found in life's difficult moments, of which Dana Manciagli has had a few. I was first diagnosed in 2002. I was only 42 years old. Dana underwent treatment and the cancer went into remission. But in 2005, she was diagnosed with breast cancer a second time, along with her twin sister, Tracy. That's Dana on the left. I was po tested positive for a gene that has a high propensity for breast cancer called the BRCA or BRCA which instantly meant Tracy had the BRCA gene since we're identical. In 2014, Tracy passed away. Every day I think about Tracy. She's right here on my shoulder talking to me, but I can't talk with her every day like we used to. Six months after Dana laid her sister to rest, she was diagnosed a third time, this time stage four metastatic cancer which means it spread to other parts of her body. I'm not sure I have strength, but I have choices I've made. And choices, the word choice has become my favorite word since cancer. And I'm choosing to be positive. It's been two and a half years since Dana's last cancer treatment, and she's choosing to live. She walks in memory of Tracy. She owns her own business, helping veterans find jobs and she married Mathis. We were brought together for some reason, and I think that um, supporting her through this, this, um, this ordeal that she has unfortunately been cursed with, in my view, um, is um, really what, what it's all about. I get great joy when she gets up, when she's singing and she's feeling good, because I've seen days when she wasn't. Dana says cancer isn't a fair fight but it has taught her life is precious and the right perspective can make all the difference. Live big and try to give back while you're facing this. It actually is a way of reviving ourselves. And Dana is here with us to talk more about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I think you have such a positive attitude and it is infectious. So thank you, first of all, for being here and for sharing your journey with us. You. We heard you just say you want to live big and give back. What does that look like for you? Well, for me, everything changed once Tracy was diagnosed with her last time. I became her caregiver. So I decided, Marnie, to leave my big job at Microsoft and start my own business giving back, my work of compassion. Mm -hmm. So that's where I started to help not only veterans and military spouses, but the general public with a brand new online course on how to get a job. Exactly. And how does that work fulfill you? Every day I get to go to sleep at night saying, thank you, I feel so warm and I was able to help somebody, even one person, ideally a thousand people, but I'm blessed that I'm able to give this gift back to others who so need it. And it helps me heal. This month we hear so much about wear pink and support breast cancer awareness, but you want people to do something, to activate, to carry that throughout the year. How can people plug in and be a part of the mission to raise awareness about breast cancer? Well, first, October, as you said, is all pink to build awareness. However, cancer hits every single day of the year. So it's not just about October. So the first thing is to think about your year long giving and make it like breathing. The second one is to donate. And you can donate time or whatever funds you have. Every dime makes a difference. And everyone can pick their own favorite organization, whether it's American Cancer Society, a hospital like Virginia Mason. Pick something and just give to their cancer, cancer research and cancer programs. And finally, for the great corporations in our backyard, get that match. 
so many companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Starbucks, they all match whatever we do, even if we volunteer an hour. So bring that in. Yeah, we know the research dollars make a big difference and change lives. What is your advice for other people who are either at the start of this journey or who have been traveling on this road for a very long time like you have? Yes. Oh, things I learned I'll pass along. One is be kind to yourself and uh, treat, uh, respect your body and thank it for all it's doing to fight this evil disease. Mm -hmm. The second one is reach out for help. Be surrounded by people. Over time, friends may disappear for a while, but just get them together and be sure you're not alone or lonely when you don't want to be. And the final one is choose positivity. Simply hope and wish for the best. Live, live big. We now light candles when we don't have people coming over. Buy flowers when you're in the grocery store. Just live in the present and enjoy every single day. Oh, I just love that. And I love your smile. And thank you so much because you are reaching so many people with your message and with your journey. So mm. we are so glad that you're here, Dana. Thank you. If you would like to read more about Dana and ways you can get involved now with Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We're going to post lots of information on our website. Go to q13fox.com and search healthy living. All right, well, still ahead.